Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations and so much more. Today I'm in Bradenton at Grzini's RV World with Zach and we're going to take you on a tour of the new 2023 Taximantis Overland Edition. This towable is great for off-grid camping, you can fit it in your garage and it can easily be towed with many trucks and SUVs. Here is an overview of the layout and the Mantis specifications. It has a dry weight of 3,115 pounds. The fresh water tank capacity is 20 gallons. Gray water tank capacity is 22 gallons. And it has a cargo capacity of 986 pounds. And here is the full features list. Hi, Zach. Hi, guys. I'm Zach. Uh, I work with Grzinis. Let's get right into this Mantis. Great. So we're going to come right up to the front here. We're going to start with our lock and roll hitch. That way when you're going taking this on your off-road trails, you don't have to worry about flipping it over and you get a lot of extra articulation for that rough terrain. Wonderful. Um, we have our standard manual tongue jack as well as our two 20-pound propane tanks, which will last you forever Great. on this coach. We'll come around right up front here. We have a set of stabilizing jacks as well as you have the same ones in the back. Okay. So this is great because usually on smaller coaches, you only get one set in the back. Oh, You're not fully nice. set on just the tongue. Um, we'll come around here. So we have dual pane acrylic windows mm -hmm. um, that can be pulled up and put at different levels to control the amount of airflow that's coming inside your camper. Over here, we have the dual purpose Truma system so it will be your instant hot water heater as well as your furnace then you'll have your uh, city water connection down here you have your um, your gray dump so that will be for your sink and your shower okay coming up here you'll have your outside shower which is plumbed for hot and cold then you have your electrical connection now this does not have any solar panels on the roof. It's designed to carry suitcase solar panels so you can plug them right in here and put them wherever the sun is shining okay. on the outside. Over here we have the air conditioner. Now this does slide in and out to give you more counter space on the inside. But when you're traveling down the road it's going to be in and this cover is going to be down oh, to protect great. it from any road conditions. Wonderful. I'm taking a look at the tires. Yeah, so we have Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires, super knobby, super grippy, really hard um, to mess them up when you're going on that rough terrain. And you also actually have a full-size spare Goodyear right, Wrangler right. on the back as well. And gravity water fill? Gravity water fill, yep, that's your fresh water tank right there. Okay. Um, Moving to the rear. Yeah, so we have built-in integrated steps. Um, these are so multi-purpose. Uh, for starters, built-in bottle openers right here. <laughs> um, they have all these holes laser etched in, so whatever you might need to attach, you can use one of the thousand bungee cords that comes with this thing okay. to attach whatever you need on the back here, as well as to get, get up on the roof. Right. That does have a roof rack system, so you can put kayaks, bike racks, or the truly tent system will fit right up there as well. Wonderful. And then... <clears throat> So there's the spare tire, so it's a full size? It is a full size, okay. that is a Goodyear Wrangler Wonderful. tire as well. Um, one of the coolest things about the back here is the back hatch opens up to give you a little bit of awning cover and then increase all the airflow right inside here. Wow, that is a lot of space right there. Okay. We'll come around to the campsite here. So we have, of course, the dual pane acrylic windows again. Mm -hmm. Lot, three windows on this side so you can see everything's going on out here. Right. You have eight foot adjustable awning that will come eight feet out oh, great. and you can adjust it for if you have rain or you want higher depending on where the sun is shining to okay. give you the optimal amount of shade. And then right down here we're going to have a 12 volt outlet for whatever you may need to plug in. Wonderful. And that's pretty much it for the outside of this thing. Right. So Zach can you show us what it's like with the pop top up? Absolutely, let okay. me hop in here. Great. All right, so that's what it looks like with the pop top up. Thank you so much, Zach. You're 
You're absolutely welcome. Have a great day. All right, thanks. So now let's check out the interior of this towable. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, so let's start with the entrance door. So right here in the door, there's an opening window, opens up awning style, comes with a built-in shade for privacy and a buck screen. Upon entering, you have a 12 volt, two USB ports, your light switches, and some fuses right below. There's a little bit of storage right underneath that. Now, when you enter to your right, there's a sofa bunk bed system. So let's check it out. Lots of room on this sofa. On this end, there's a lagoon tabletop. You can easily eat here, do some work. There's a 12 volt right below. Right on the side, there's a light above so you can see what you're doing. And there's an opening window right here with that shade for privacy and bug screen. Now this sofa can be flipped up like this using the carabiner. You just come over here and clip it into place. Now with that flipped up, it gives you lots of storage space if you want to bring along some bikes or whatnot. There's even some extra storage on each of the sides. Now I'm gonna flip the sofa back down and show you how this turns into a bunk bed. So I'm gonna lift this part up and on each end, you take the carabiner and you put it in place. Now they are bunk beds. I'm gonna give it a try. Pretty neat for some kids. Right underneath the top bunk, there's some netting that you can flip up, attach in place with carabiners, and serves as a safety net for young ones. Now let's check out the bathroom setup. So this towable comes with a port of toilet and it is held in place with these straps on each side. Let me show you what it looks like. It is a Dometic. And it is removable. So I'm going to remove it and then show you the shower setup. All right, so I've moved the toilet out of the way and now I'm gonna show you how the shower gets set up. So you pull up on this lever and you put the shower pan down. Now there's a drain right there in that far corner. And as you can see, there's your controls for your hot and cold water along with the shower head. Now I'm gonna set up the shower curtain and show you what it looks like. All right, so I've got the shower curtain being held in place with the carabiners on top and snapped into place on the bottom and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to step inside and show you how much room is in there. So it's a good amount of room. There's a cutout here to adjust your hot and cold setting and the shower head is velcroed in place right up here. Now let's check out the kitchen area. So take a look at all the countertop space you have here. The cooktop and sink are both covered, so let's take a look at the sink. It is a Dometic and it has a flip-up faucet. Moving on to the cooktop, it's a two-burner propane. Right in front, there's some storage. The doors slide across and these doors double as cutting boards. Little ledge on top to put some spices or other articles. And on the side, there's some extra storage. Right here is the AC unit that Zach showed you earlier, does slide in 
and out, and when it's in, you can fasten it in place. Moving below, there's some storage. Now, the storage in here are all crates, and you can easily pull these out, bring them into your house, fill them up, come right back into your camper, and put them in place, and you're just good to go. No need to go back and forth. On the side here, there's the auto detect for your lead acid or lithium. Emergency shut off for your battery. Battery reader. There are two 10 outlets down here. A 12 volt, two USB ports. The Truma controller for your hot water and in cabin heating. Some light switches and some fuses below that are clearly indicated. One big additional storage crate right here. Now let's move on to the other side. So you have some extra countertop space right here. Fire extinguisher is located right there. Below, three more crates for storage. They are bungeed in place. Right on the side here, there's this really large 16 gallon trash can in its spot, held down in place with bungee cords. On the side of that, there's a Dometic cooler. Right above, big opening window, shade for privacy and bug screen. Now let's head to the rear and check out the dining area. Lots of room back here. Good sized tabletop, does spin right around. Great place for eating, you can even work here. There are a couple of 110 outlets back there, along with two USB ports. Now, if you don't like the U-shape, this part here is removable. And you can have that traditional dinette style. Lots of windows back here. Let's check them out. This one opens up, has that privacy shade, along with the bug screen. Another one back here in the rear, same setup, and right across also. There is a lot of storage under these bench seating, so let me show you. Starting on this side, you just flip that up, and plenty of space to add some additional crates for storage. I'll show you the other side. And you can even use the rear part for storage also. Now this dinette also transforms into a full-size bed, so let me show you. Okay, so I've removed the tabletop and the leg, so now I'm gonna take that tabletop and put it down here in the center on these ledges. Now I'm gonna grab this backrest cushion and simply place that in the middle. All right, so take a look at the bed. Let's check it out. Nice and comfy. It's a full size, plenty of room for two people. Now I'm gonna open up this rear hatch and let some air in. There is a screen that you can set up right here and you can enjoy laying here while you're camping. Let the breezes in, listen to the birds. I love it. Love the ability to open up that rear hatch. I also love that on each side of the camper in the main area, there's these zippered windows that you can open up and there's a screen right there. And each panel is removable in the case that you might have to replace a panel. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2023 Taximantis Overland Edition. Now this rugged camper offers a lot of versatility with the bunk bed system that you can flip up and then use the storage space. Lots of storage throughout. Love the milk crates that you can easily pull out, bring in your house, fill them up, put them back in their place. Saves you lots of time. 
greatest aspect of this, it fits easily in your garage. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for many, many more videos. Bye for now.